All right. It is December. It is December the 28th, 2022. And we're back at the United States District Courthouse. On December the 13th, the court sent me this document saying that I have to turn over all my evidence to the judge. I didn't waive my right to have a judge trial. I requested a jury trial. And we're about to go up here and find out what is going on. Has corruption already started with this court? At no time did I waive my rights to a jury trial. To have a judge hear my case. But this is how corruption started. The Seventh Amendment to the Supreme Law grants me a right to a jury trial in a civil matter where the jury is the arbitrator, not the judge. But my bodyguard with me. But we here we go again down here at Greenbelt Courthouse. Yeah, I'll leave my firearm in the in the car, yeah. I said I left my firearm in the car with my clips. I don't want no shit but with these people. So we're here at the United States District Courthouse again, y'all to figure out how a judge is going to ask us to turn over evidence before he gives us a subpoena. Just said hello to the guard at the courthouse. I'm pretty sure he's getting on the phone calling. They're coming with cameras, y'all. But I find this interesting that the clerk of the court wants me to turn over all my evidence to the judge. And he hasn't even signed the subpoenas yet. Is he going to request the evidence from the defendants? At no time did I waive my rights to a jury trial. Matter of fact, I requested a jury trial to be the arbitrator of this. I paid my money and I want my jury to hear, my peers to hear this case, not a judge. The judge is only supposed to instruct the jury on the rules and the regulations and the law. So let's go up here and find out what's going on. Shit ain't even got off the ground and we already trying to manipulate shit. That's why I say people, they allow this to happen. That's why they feel they could do this shit. I'm not going to pay my money and then you tell me a judge going to decide off the break when I ask for a jury trial. Shit, he should have did that before I paid my money. Go again. Morning, How you doing, man? Okay. Morning. All right, we're inside the courthouse now. And we're gonna cut this off right now and get back with y'all as soon as we get through with the clerk's off. How's the holiday? Okay. 
Secret Santa Claus came to you? <laughs> nah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I wish, man. I wish, man. <laughs> Y'all going out for the New Year's and Are they tearing this building down or something? Look at all these holes in the holes in the wall. These guys are so unprofessional. How you doing, champ? How you doing, champ? Get the fuck out of here. I, you don't say that to the white people. How you doing, sir? Get the fuck out of here. That's why I ain't even say nothing to them. Top of the morning to you all. Who wants to? Who wants to handle my, my situation? I received this letter in the mail requesting that I turn over all my evidence to the judge. Uh, I requested a jury trial. I'm not. Under, I'm not having a judge decide anything. The Seventh Amendment gives me that right. He's not the arbitrator. So why am I turning over? my evidence to him i like that I, like, I just want to know that's a solid question um that i requested a jury trial who are the is the arbitrator of this case mm -hmm. when do uh plaintiffs have to turn over evidence to a judge and he hasn't even signed the subpoenas yet for me to serve so why I'm, i don't understand what the problem is so uh let me grab somebody who's more familiar with the procedure okay. than I am because I haven't nailed down. I know, I know. You told me y'all, you guys just started. Okay. Well, let me grab the, the, the clerk of the, is the clerk here? Uh, the, the clerk of the court? Yeah. She's actually out. How right. about, the, how about the lawyer she brought the last time? He is also out. Okay. Wait, you grab my supervisor. Okay, that'll work. All right. Be right back. All right, thank you. Yeah, I ain't never heard of that in my life. I got to turn my evidence over. Nobody else gets to turn their evidence over. And the trial ain't even started yet. His job is just to explain the law. He's not to d decide this case. This right here is an ex parte. He wants the evidence before anybody else served the evidence. Hi. How you doing? All right, how are you? I'm doing fine. What's your name? Janet. Ja Miss Janet. I received this in the, the mail. I just served, uh, filed this lawsuit. 
-hmm. and I requested a jury trial. Yes, sir. Okay, the judge, he's just a, he's just a person who's going to explain the law to both sides. He doesn't, what does he need my paper, my evidence for before we start the, jur uh, the trial? He hasn't even signed the subpoenas to serve these people yet. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on here. I, I mean, the Seventh Amendment gives me a right to a jury trial and they're going to be the arbitrators. It does. So I, I'm not quite sure what the issue is. So summons have not been issued yet. This is still under judicial review. Yes, ma'am. I um, came over, I came here, I think, to speak to these gentlemen last week about, and I paid to have a jury trial, not a judge. Everything goes under judicial review. You don't get summons issued automatically. It doesn't automatically go to trial. Everything gets determined whether it proceeds no. by the judge. No, no, not by law. And not by law. I, and I understand what you're saying. The Seventh Amendment on your. Well, I, I can't uh, well, argue with you about. No, this. no, no. Hear me out for a minute. When I paid my money, on your complaint it says, "Do I want a judge trial or a jury trial?" Yes. I marked jury. I do not. I don't even trust these judges up here. And this has something to do with this system up here. I paid to have my case heard by a jury. Okay, and if... That's not what the filing fee is for. It's not to be heard by a jury. No, no, no. The filing fee is to have my case heard in this courthouse. If that was the case, then the judge should have reviewed it before I paid my money and decided that... I, and I know this is the corruption that goes on in this judicial system. Okay, you pay the money and then this judge decides from a telephone call from somebody else kill it. That's not going to happen this time. I'm going to go to the ethic board. I'm going to I'm going to file an appeal. My Seventh Amendment gives me a right to be heard by a jury or my peers, not a judge. Okay? If that was the case, he should have reviewed it before I paid my money. Now he's extorting money from me if he thinks he's going to. I've never heard where a plaintiff has to turn over his evidence to a judge when nobody Well, I'm just saying turning over all the paperwork that I what he's saying in this is, what the clerk is saying, I need to turn over everything to prove my case before the case even starts. Where does it say that? Though? It says I have to turn over everything that I want him to, to look at. I don't want him looking at anything. I want the jury to do it. Well, unfortunately with the federal court, everything goes under judicial review first, and then it determines if the case proceeds further. If you have an issue with that, you are more than welcome to put oh, that, it in writing I, and file it in your case. I, I intend to, but I just wanted to make sure because that's not the law. Okay. I, I'm very yes, familiar with the law is. Familiar. That's not, I mean, they've been doing it for so long and getting away with it that they think it's the law. It's not. That's why they put jury and judge. The jury is the arbitrator pursuant to the Seventh Amendment, not the judge. And that's why I marked jury. He doesn't have to pr decide anything. All he has to do is sit up on that bench and tell what the law is pursuant to this case. And that's what I paid for. Now, if he thinks he's going to, uh, and I've been through this court before. They uh, granted me uh, to file a, a complaint without paying for it. And then when we got all the way up to Richmond, the state argued I didn't pay. But you said I was free to pay, not pay and they dismissed it because I didn't pay. This time I paid and I want my case to be heard by 12 of my peers because this is a corruption case. And all it takes for him, and I don't know him, but I'm gonna do a background on him, is a phone call from these criminals and he dismisses this case. That's not gonna happen. It's not. And I, and I run a YouTube channel putting corrupt people on it and that's where it stems from. And if he wants to get on there, I'm making it very clear, I pay to have a jury trial, and that's what I want. And I don't have to give my evidence to the court. You haven't even signed the subpoenas yet. We're not asking for evidence. You say, it says send all paperwork or evidence you want him to. Because to, I'm trying to explain to you, sir, that everything goes under judicial review first. It doesn't automatically mean that you have a case in the court. Uh, so the judge can dismiss the case at any time before being heard by a jury. Well, he should have did that before he it took my money extorted my money from me. You could have proceeded without paying. That was an option. No. No, because he wouldn't have done it because I make too much money to do it without. I've already been through this. The last time, the only way they did it because I was illegally incarcerated by some individuals. 
and I asked for that. But now I'm 